welcome back to another video on my channel. So today I've got this absolutely stunning new plate from Dixie Plates. It's the Botanicals number no. one. Thank you to Kate for sending me this gorgeous plate. It's absolutely stunning. It's been released also with the spring number one layered stamping plate. I have a video and swatches of how to use that plate up on my channel already. So I'll put that in the link down below. So I just wanted to say how amazing Kate's plates are. As you can see there, I was just showing you how super long my nails are and how the images on Kate's plates fit amazingly for longer nails. She has really awesome large sized images which are fabulous for myself and all my long nail clients. So I'm going to be using the Gel Bottle Link Spring Collection of gel polishes to do these swatches and mini tutorial on for you today. They're absolutely stunning. I'll link them also down below. And I'm going to be using the Dixie Plates Diamond Duo Stamper to do all of these swatches. I just find using a clear stamper makes your life 10 million times easy when it comes to any type of stamping. You can see exactly where you're placing it. So I'm just prepping this plate as it is brand new with some pure acetone, just giving it a wipe over. So I'm going to be using all clear jelly stamper polishes today. Unfortunately, I don't know what number this is. If I find out, I'll link it down below for you guys. But it's a gorgeous, bright, hot pink. So I'm starting off with the image in the top right corner so this is a reverse image meaning that it covers a lot so the design is actually the negative so I'm using the glittery gold as my base and then applying this over and as you can see the stamping polish is so full coverage and the design is so beautiful the way that that glitter picks up the floral design is stunning and you can see here how well etched the plate is the image picked up perfectly for such a large area for the polish to be on the image picked up absolutely crisply so i'm now going to go in with the image below and i'm just prepping my stamper by rolling over with a lint roller i do this between every time i stamp so i'm just scraping down with my scraper i had to do it a couple of times then and then picking up that image, as you can see there, how beautiful and detailed that flower is. And then placing it directly on the nail. When I do these more finer images, I hold that stamper on the nail for a little bit longer. I find that just makes the design stick to the nail ten times better. And you can see how beautiful this image is. So I'm now using Clear Jelly Stamper number 35. It's a lilac metallic colour, absolutely stunning. And I'm going to choose this section of this flower, daffodils, I think they are, image. I didn't need the whole area, so I only swatched a little bit of it. And then I'm just applying that to now. I was going to add some extra bits to this, but I thought it just looked so beautiful on its own. Those two colours worked really well together. And you can just see how amazingly crisp the images pick up. So using that same colour, I'm now going in with that flower to the top right. So really lightly scraping using my scraper and when I pick up images I roll that stamper across the plate with a light flick of the wrist no harsh pressure or being really heavy handed it's really light pressure and you'll pick up a perfect image every single time so I'm now going in with clear jelly stamper number one which is their black stamping polish I'm using this gorgeous flower on the bottom left of the plate and I'm going to be doing a little bit of advanced stamping with this. So after picking up that image, I'm leaving it to dry. And you can see how amazingly that picked up. And I'm just using my Magpie Beauty Detailer brush and some of that hot pink stamping polish. And I'm filling in on that stamper all the petals of this flower. So don't be too precious with this. Just whack the colour on. It doesn't because you've got the lines there it doesn't really matter if you slightly go over it it kind of adds to the effect of it and it in my opinion it makes it look more realistic and it gives it a little bit more of your own style to it so i'm literally just applying this hot pink to all the petals on the flower and i'll be back in a second So now I'm going to go in with the lilac stamping polish and I'm going to apply this to the centre of the flower. Again, you really don't have to be careful with this, just whack that colour on. 
where you want it you can do whatever colors you choose and you can you could do 10 different colors for the petals you could create some shading effects just whack that color on really simple and easy to do I'm just going to show you how it's looking from the other side so here you can see that flower coming together and the black outline which is what we stamped in creates the detail and the colors we've just put on creates the color design obviously so I've waited for a good two to three minutes to let that dry slightly and then I'm just pressing that image down onto the nail and I'm holding for a few more seconds than I normally would and then I'm just patting down where any of the bits of the image are slightly lifted up and there you have it, there how you create a multicoloured stamping image, it's really easy to do, practice makes perfect, don't give up, it is really super gorgeous so it's a cool technique to get under your belt for your clients. I really love how this turned out, it's super beautiful. So now going back in with that black stamping polish and I'm just doing the image above the one we've previously done and I just use my scraper to take any polish off the stamper that I don't want on my design. So then I'm placing that image onto the nail and I decided I wanted to add a little bit more colour to this image. So I went in with the purple stamping polish and my detailer brush from Magpie Beauty and I'm just adding a bit more detail with this colour. This kind of thing is really simple and easy to do and I think especially with stamping it's nice to add a little bit more detail. You can use these stamping plates almost as a guideline to add little flourishes of your own to jazz up the design but honestly with these stamping plates you can see the detail in these images and how beautiful these flowers are you almost don't need to I just thought I'd show you how you can add your own little bit of detail really quickly and simply so there you have it there's all the gorgeous swatches from the botanicals plate from the lovely Kate Dix Dixie plates I'll leave a link down below where you can get this from thank you so much for watching guys make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more videos and tutorials see you in my next one Bye!